Hi muckers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having the best day ever. Thank you so much for choosing to spend even a little portion of your day with me. I really appreciate it. And if you can tell, we have a new member joining us, Miss Emma Chamberlain, my favorite YouTuber ever. Just know that the Cardboard Cutter Collection is ever growing and it is absolutely terrifying. But yes, we have Miss Emma right behind us looking gorgeous, joining Garfield, joining Corpse Bride and Jack and Sally. Oh, this background is scary. Just imagine waking up and seeing all of this. It's because I actually do sleep here. It's quite a lot. All right, I have a very intense video. So basically, Andrew and Garrett are now partnering up. And yes, they have been shady about Shane Dawson. And the entire internet that I follow is talking about this online because we talked about them when they were friends. We talked about them when they were making content together. We talked whenever Trisha was in the mix, when Jeffrey was in the mix, when Morgan Adams was in the mix. And then whenever it all fell apart, and now them coming back, and Andrew actually released a statement. Now, Andrew was the filmographer for Shane Dawson's content and the editor, and basically the producer as well. And he's kind of done a post that is hinting at the fact that he did not get the credit that he deserved whenever he was working with Shane Dawson, which is very interesting. And he's saying that he's now working with Garrett, and that is when he's actually feeling that he's basically being appreciated as being part of the team and you know not just someone who's on camera and I think it's very interesting because we've talked about this a lot and Gar and Andrew really don't talk about the drama they had you know a podcast that didn't last very long and there was an episode in which they focused on toxic friends and it was definitely talking about Shane in my opinion it was talking about feeling like you're kind of being used or just like that you don't fit in with them anymore or you're just there to to fulfill something for them and we're going to get to all of that before we get into that very quickly I just want to let you know please if you haven't and you do enjoy the content please remember to subscribe over 65% of you which is heartbreaking who watch my videos like in the past three weeks have not subscribed so again you don't have to subscribe if, you, if you're just here for one or two videos but it would really I would really appreciate it if you actually do subscribe I know that YouTube unsubscribes people and I know that a lot of people just watch and aren't so I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe and join me here new videos every single day but let's get into it okay so Gard has posted a YouTube trailer that he is now back making content. Andrew has responded to it. Gard has responded to Andrew. But I was seeing a lot of people tweet me this and they were like, Adam, I cannot wait for you to talk about this because you knew I was going to talk about it. But we were like, what is the context? Because we never got some sort of closure for what actually happened between Shane and these two guys. And now I've said it that I really, really, really enjoy Gard as a person. I know that a lot of people are going to come for me for my pronunciation of that. I have a couple people I know in my immediate life that are called Garrett, and I pronounce it Garrett, and they do as well. I think it's like European, we pronounce it Garrett. But I know that everyone says I should be pronouncing it Garrett, G G Garrett. But, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I struggle to pronounce it Garrett without going into like an American accent, and then I get made fun of for that. So I'm just going to keep it as Garrett, and just know that that is how we pronounce it over here. All love. Peace and love, I'm wearing my teddy fresh. Um, but anyway, yes, we never got any sort of resolution, conclusion to what happened. So you're aware that they all filmed videos together and whenever Shane was kind of at the peak of making the conspiracy videos, the ghost hunting videos, it was always Andrew filming and then it was Gar included in them and Drew as well, who I love and I miss so much. But whenever Shane got canceled in summer of 2020, it seemed that all of his friends kind of jumped ship. Now, as much as I you know, really like Andrew and really like Garrett. They definitely did jump ship just because he was being cancelled. But again, I think that Andrew was doing it from a point of view of he wasn't having work anymore. Like he was literally hired to film Shane's videos and Shane wasn't filming videos anymore. So why would he stick around Shane professionally? Like keep in mind, Shane was literally his employer. So I don't understand why people criticize Andrew like 100% because he was out of a job, so of course he was going to leave. And if him and Shane were nothing more than just work partners, then they don't have to be held to being best friends forever. But a lot of people do give Andrew criticism specifically for leaving Shane whenever Shane got cancelled because Andrew was aware of the past actions that Shane had done, the past content, because that was someone that he had worked with before and got criticism for the things Shane had done but just had not addressed them. You know, because when Shane was getting called out, he was getting called out every two years and Andrew was working with him through a couple of his cancellations and Andrew actually on video had made fun of the, the cancellation attempts at him saying how stupid they were and whatever. So a lot of people have mixed opinions on Andrew. Mine, honestly, is do I think that he was aware of the Shane problematic content? Yes. Do I think he agreed with it? Probably to the sake of continuing to have a very successful 
paycheck coming in. And I don't really hold anything against him for jumping ship. I think it was the right thing to do. And also, he just wasn't working and making money anymore. So, for those who are asking for context, there's this post on Reddit that kind of explains it before we get to their post. Someone had said, what actually happened between Shane, Andrew, and Garrett? And someone called uh, Dolly Parton's hat. Slay. It's actually what my dog Dolly's named after. Not the hat, but Dolly Parton. I don't think there's been any sort of confirmation that they're not friends anymore. However, there's just been a lot of subtle hints or comments alluding to a fallout. Gar and Andrew discussed on their podcast toxic friends who don't appreciate what makes you happy, which is something that people thought a lot about Shane because there are compilations of Shane making fun of Drew for things he likes, making fun of Garrett for things he likes. And it's really sad to watch, especially if you've gone through toxic friendships, to know that you can kind of relate to Garrett in a way whenever, you know, maybe you've been in a situation where your friends don't appreciate your interests or make fun of things you like. And it, it's not the best ever and I definitely felt for Garrett whenever you know even in the moment of watching Shane's videos whenever I enjoyed their collaborations and again like a lot of people I hate to say it but I watched Shane Dawson's videos for the people that were in them not Shane and Ryland because they were arguably the most boring in them the other people like Garrett and Andrew so whenever they left there was no point to like there was no entertainment there anymore sorry I mean his Shane's recent content reflects that but yeah, there's so many moments in the vlogs with Garrett where Shane is making fun of things he likes or he's making him uncomfortable, like the Jeffree Star series whenever Shane is literally trying to pay Garrett to, like, sexually, you know, engage with Jeffree Star. And this is all on video. Imagine what happened off. So anyway. They totally could be supporting him in private, but I don't really believe so. Which could be why they haven't said much at all, but I also think they aren't the type of guys to make a big deal out of cutting a friend off in public, and probably just did all of it in private. I might be wrong, but I think that Garrett might have also said that he didn't want to talk about it, the controversy, at some point. This was after he temporarily seemed to unfollow Shane, and he liked a tweet or two which was negative about Shane. Now again, this was something that happened, I remember this very vividly from 2020, Garrett was liking a couple shady things about Shane, we made a couple videos about them. He also claimed that he was hacked on Instagram after captions of photos of him and Shane were changed to say negative things. If you remember the drama from 2020, that was a huge thing. Garrett got hacked, or maybe he just did it himself. He changed the captions on his photos with Shane to like negative things. But I think that they're both doing fine without him, so I think that that is okay. Alright, so, Garrett posted this video yesterday that says 7 22 which is obviously a date, and it is this video, and then Garrett, no, Andrew, responded to Garrett. So this is what, and I am so excited for Garrett's return, by the way. I really enjoy his, like, quirks, I really enjoy his content, I think he's such an adorable person to watch, and I'm glad that I was introduced to him through Shane. I, I really, really, really enjoy uh, watching his videos and I'm, I'm gonna be completely transparent with that and I always enjoyed Andrew. At times the laughing with Shane was really cringy but I mean I always thought that he was enjoyable and endearing to watch the same way Garrett was and the same way Drew was. It was always just Shane pulling down the energy. But if they're not making content without Shane I'm gonna be here to watch it. So anyway this is the video that Garrett posted. Andrew. You know that haunted building, the apartment building that I've been obsessed with for five years now? Oh, yes. Dude, this is crazy. I got an apartment in the building. What? I mean, are we like literally what is happening? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm shaking. I mean, dude, really? Like, the building's kind of coming to life. I think that it's out of this realm. Something is happening in there. We died and went to hell. The editing is great. I've never had, like, 360 fear like this, no, no, like, no. from every direction. I don't know. The editing is, someone, someone commented on my video, it just, it showed up. I posted a picture of me getting ready to film this with Emma in the background, and someone just commented, Adam, this can't go on anymore. <laughs> Marmar said, Adam, this cannot go on anymore. <laughs> Sorry, that just caught me off guard, but valid. Completely valid. 
All right, okay, so there was that. Now, one thing I do want to say before I get to, and this tweet is doing very well, by the way, it's at like 12,000 likes. So we're going to read what Andrea had to say now, but one thing I'm going to say is I am excited to watch this because the content of Shane's that I enjoyed was the content with Andrea and Gara and Drew and even Morgan as well. I always find Morgan quite endearing. Um, where they would go ghost hunting, or they would go on like a haunted ship, or they would go to like a haunted building. I love- I eat that shit up. I eat that content up. I love horror content. I love light-hearted horror content that's not too scary. It was like my dream content. So whenever I and a lot of people were made aware of Shane's content, we obviously didn't find comfort in watching that anymore. And then whenever we find out about the toxicness of the friend groups, mm, it kind of made the content very awkward to watch. So to be able to now enjoy this content with two creators that I, I do feel okay with supporting, which is, uh, you know, I was about to say Ryland, not Ryland, uh, Gara and Andrew, I'm excited to watch it. So Andrew then said, pardon my absence as I was embracing my first hiatus from ever starting content um, and looking at screens and just cooking up stuff since moving to LA. Upon feeling refreshed, so he's been gone now since properly since 2021, but really since 2020, I had several conversations with my close friend and long-time collaborator, Garrett Watts, because Garrett and Andrew knew each other before Shane knew either of them, about being uh, recruited to officially join him full-time, crafting content for his creative universe. I'm stoked to say that finally, I will now serve, so this is the shady part, I will now serve as a producer, cameraman, and editor for Garth's YouTube channel and all the things Garth Watts related. I look forward to being on board and doubling the size of his creative team in the process. Much love and much more content to come, Andrew. So, so many people are re responding to this and being like, wow, because it was always apparent if you watch Shane's videos, that Andrew always was doing the most. Andrew was literally the person who came up with the design of the conspiracy palette and he never gets credit for it. Andrew was Shane Dawson. That content that was good, that was high quality, the editing, the producing of the, the ghost stuff, that was all of Andrew's work. And Andrew really never got the credit for it. I'm sorry to say it. Like if Shane does, you know, a black screen at the end of the video and is like, edited by Andrew, produced by Shane, starring Shane, starring Ryland. It was always never focused on enough how much work Andrew was doing. And that's something that I don't know if you remember, but Shane got called out for a lot during the time of making these videos with people being like, wait, did Shane also do, or was it just, Andrew? people were very confused. So the fact that Andrew is fully standing up and being like, I'm going to be the cameraman. I'm going to be the producer. I'm going to be the editor. I'm going to be doing this. And it feels so good to say that. That's a great thing, especially as someone who studied in media and there have been so many projects I've worked on with my college years ago that I never was credited for. That is such an important thing and such a relieving thing to know that you have ownership and are being acknowledged for your work. And I'm happy for both of them. And I want to know if you're going to watch this type of content that they're going to put out and how do you feel about this? And again, I love you. Thank you for watching. I was very excited to film this video because I really am excited for this content that they're going to make. So let me know if you're going to be watching. I'm going to be tuning in. Thank you for spending a little portion of your day again. And I will see you in my next one, Mucker. I love you so fucking much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.